Hello, today I am going to be reviewing for you a whole school approach to positive mental health by Jonathan Glazard and Rachel Bostwick. Now I shall put up on the screen here um, some posh stuff that it says about who they are and what they do, but I know these guys and they're great. So kind of in short, essentially, Jonathan is a professor of like education and stuff. I mean, maybe you should just read that stuff. It's better than what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, professor, uh, knows loads about teaching, knows loads about mental health. Uh, Rachel Bostwick, I work with really close because she leads the um, school mental health award of which I am a coach. Um, I'll put a link in the description to anyone who might want to know about that award because it's fab and you can get me as a coach if you ask for me um, wherever you are in the world by the way. Anyway so they put together lots of useful resources often and uh, one of the things they've done recently is write a series of books um, and so this is one of that series. They sent me a copy so I could tell you all about it. So it is about taking a whole school approach to positive mental health and it's aimed at really any school or college um, who wants to uh, take a look at their provision and get some ideas about how they can take that forward in terms of promoting the well-being and mental health of students and teachers and the parent community as well um, it's got loads of case studies in it lots of really practical ideas but the thing that really sort of sets this book apart I think um, from other books in this kind of field and there are an increasing number of these kinds of books um, is that this takes a sort of a coaching approach. So throughout the books um, you will find that there are these kind of coaching questions. So I'll find an example here. So yes, yeah, so I'm looking at page 36 now. I'll put that on the screen for you as well. And you can see this list of critical questions. Um, so things like what factors can result in a negative school culture? What factors can have a positive impact? Um, how might schools work in partnership with reluctant parents? So it's kind of not like necessarily telling you the answers although sometimes there are some answers suggested through case studies um, and other bits of the text but as much as anything this is helping you to ask the right questions and it's giving you the starting points for discussion um, as a team at school would be great questions to be looking at with your governing body for example as well um, so I'll show you a couple more bits just to give you a bit of an idea about what the books like um, so um, I'll put these again on on the screen through the magic um, of uh, iMovie Maker yeah I'm that advanced and um, this gives you an idea of kind of like the layout of the book and that kind of thing and I really like it because as you know I love lists and structure and subheadings and things that make it really clear to find what you want um, and this book very much relies on that kind of yeah quite sort of formulaic in a good way uh, kind of uh, approach to each chapter so you know exactly what you're going to be doing you're taking your good sort of teaching approach here we've got objectives we know what we're going to cover and then we kind of jump straight in uh, to the content so it kind of gives you a little bit um, of an idea. This was to show you what kind of the beginning or some of the chapters look like and also I think to highlight um, that they look specifically here about working in partnership with uh, children and young people. So in terms of what the whole book covers um, then you can have a look at the contents which is I, 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 love, I have to say I do love the design of the book. Um, it's kind of really bold and fun and clear. Um, so again yeah I'll pop these here so you can see but you can have a bit of an idea about kind of of what is is covered here in so it's it's a really simple book um, it really practical uh, in its approach and really clear in its focus and I, I do like it uh, a lot um, so what are the three things that I most liked about this book um, I like the fact it's kind of simple and unassuming so uh, those of you who uh, know me uh, I may have introduced you to Rachel Boswick who is one of the authors of this book um, because she is fab and I often want people to get to know her because many people don't know her and I feel that they should um, and one of the things I always say about Rachel is that one of the things I love about her is she's really really knowledgeable and highly skilled in what she does um, but she does it all without any fanfare and this book is a bit like that like it doesn't jump off the shelf at you and it doesn't go hey I'm amazing but actually you sit down and it's just quietly very very good um, um, and I like that, I like that a lot. Um, the next thing I like about it is that it is packed full of links out to other really useful stuff. Um, and so there's like lots of kind of further reading and lots of ideas about what this links into in terms of other agendas and stuff. So um, yeah, it tells you like, you know, here in this chapter that it's linking to the teacher standards and all, all sorts of stuff. So you kind of can see how it sits within the wider um, context. And you can also see that it's kind of seated very much uh, within a kind of evidence 
confidence base um, as well. And then the third thing I love is the kind of the questions approach that throughout the book you're presented with questions rather than necessarily always answers because every school is different um, and actually sometimes asking the right questions is far more important and far more helpful than being told all the answers. So there you go, that is a whole school approach to positive mental health by Jonathan Glazard and Rachel Bostwick. I would recommend it, I will put a link uh, in the description below um, and I hope that you like it too. I'd love to hear how you got on with it and if you have books or resources that you would like to see me review another time then drop me a line, my email is in the description. Okay, good luck and see you next time. Oh and please subscribe, new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Okay, bye.